right, just a little quick update on Connor's charger. Yep. Connor's been welding the charger together. Basically a basket case, right Connor? Yeah, undesirable parts and yep. cheap parts I could come across. Yeah, they just spot weld them together. You're, made, you're welding it together stronger than they did back at the factory. Yeah, I did all the spot welds, obviously. <laughs> Buzzing a couple of the seams up. You just do some extra buzzes, and that does make them more stiff. This car, he really did start with a roof and a cowl. But yeah, we were talking about this, too. They designed these cars. Uh, this is the way they were, too. What's that do? It does nothing but catch mud, salt, and goo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to rust them all out. It's like, no wonder they rotted out. You got the, the roll pan here. Roll pan is it's designed almost like a vent to just catch mud and debris, you know, yeah, and get it stuck up in there. And the worst thing was when they put calcium down on dirt roads to keep the dust down in the summer. Yeah, you drive through that and it eats your car. Calcium in the summer and salt, and salt in, the in the winter. Like this trunk pan was cheap, but it was pitted and stuff. So I'm gonna hit that with a rust treatment. Those I bought on eBay a few years back. They're original, but they got a little surface on them, you know. But it's turning into a charger, little by little, year after year. Get a couple hours to work on it every now and then. And you got the motor together. I do, yep. You're going to be working on the transmission soon. You got a whole suspension to put under it. Yep. He's welding pieces in, just welding, welding, welding. How many spools we got in it now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Not the little spools either. We buy the big welding spools. The spool a while, <laughs> yeah. See, this is a really rough rail. So yeah. I made caps. He capped it and welded it. Yep. So it'll be strong. It will. Was able to just keep one of the rails on the car. This one was in decent shape for some reason. <coughs> yeah, that one stayed. That yeah, one didn't rot. This really, one really not bad. Got in rough shape. So the cowl, the roof, and that rail. That's what you started with. Because you could throw a cat through the floor in the trunk and I changed all the floor and the, the rockers. Pretty much panels. all the floor and the rockers. The inner and the outer rockers. I made my own inner rockers, which was <laughs> tedious. Yeah, but that's really just flat steel. And then that rocker I made, which was hokey, but it's there. And then I bought an AMD rocker for this, which is a nice piece. Oh, know, that is nice. It's a one, one piece solid rocker. piece, yeah. I had to do that in sections because you can only fit so much in the brake. Yeah. Yeah. So it's going to get some filler for sure. But The cheap charger project. Of course, if we figured your hours out on it, hey, it'd still be pretty good. I, whatever, you know, it's what you got to do if you own an old car. And you're welding the, uh, you welded up the marker lights, I see. I did, because I didn't want to buy them. I don't blame you. So they're vanishing. Got some work to do back here, but most of it's standing yeah. out. Cheapest 68 panel I could find. Really, I kind of wanted a 69 panel, but I found that for 40 bucks, so. 40 bucks? I bought it for 40 bucks a couple years back. So it kind of determined what taillights I was going to have. What about tail lights? You gonna know, just buy repops? What do they got? They don't really have repops for these, surprisingly. Really? Yeah. For chargers? Well, I think they're really <coughs> expensive. They're like six hundred bucks a pair. Or and you made these corners too. I remember you making them. I did make the corners. Oh, yeah, that was a lot of welding. They're expensive too. I formed them and just made them up. It's a driver, you know, so it's gonna look cool and everything. It's not. Gonna oh be yeah, a, it's gonna be a charger. It's not gonna be a point, point for point. Uh, original charger. It's a restroom mod, if you're gonna call it anyway. Well, that's gonna be cool. Yep. You don't see them going down the road anymore. No. Are you gonna fill it? You gotta fill this hole I in. Got, yeah, I got patches. Couple for holes. Those. Couple yeah. holes to fill. But I kind of want. I'm leaving it open for now, so I could spray some anti-rust stuff in my rocker. Yeah. That's the rocker channel. Yep. And you can right now that you can get in there. Spray so. it full. That. That. Are you gonna use that waxy stuff or that? Yeah. Other? They. Eastwood's got some kind of paint that you stick down with a long tube and pull it back through and sprays everything. You gotta do that inside the frame channels and stuff everywhere you can? The frames I did when I had them apart, I did a chassis saver. Oh, you already. did? Yeah. So, so inside of them is chassis saver. Inside of my frames. Oh, I can see it a little bit here. Yeah. I can see that it's black in here. You probably it can't is. see it on the tape. I went crazy with that. Good. And then I, so the inside down into here is all sealed up really well. I'm ne it's never gonna see salt again, obviously. I do want to drive it a lot though, so I'm just going to paint it up good. And when they outlaw gasoline, you're just going to be able to hang a battery underneath it? That's outlaw gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. Isn't that ridiculous? Well, if it does, we'll all be walking, so. Oh no, I'm going to have a zero emission electric vehicle. I'll probably... It charges weld, by magic. Uh, I'll have to weld some kind of 
hitch that up for horses on the front. <laughs> a whipple tree is what you call it. Put a whipple tree out front, some reins. Just don't put a windshield in so you can have a place for the reins to go through. Yeah, there you go. Or just drill holes in the firewall for the reins. You're gonna need one heavy duty horse. Well, you don't get one horse. You know, I don't know. What, Four workhorses. They want everything to go electric and, and it's just, a, just ridiculous. Well, when it gets here, great. They, they gotta force everything all the time. I don't even think that. Causing I just, pain. I just, I'm not falling. It's hard to beat the internal combustion engine. It is hard to beat it. You can't get the fuel density out of a battery that you do from a gallon of gasoline. You know, and they're all worried about, everybody's worried about killing the planet without knowing what the carbon cycle is. It, more carbon in the air equals greener grass and greener trees and topsoil. Yeah, yep it Just does. Just give it time. Maybe that's what we should switch over to is trying to get the carbon out of the atmosphere into our organic soils. Well, that's what trees do. That's what you need to do. You, that's what grass does. Carbon sequestration. <clears throat> you mention that to people and they, they either don't know what you're talking about or they have a vague understanding of it and they yell at you. Because <laughs> your politics don't agree. Yeah, I know. We get yelled at a lot, don't we? Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh well. It looks like you might have to get a new brake cable. Yeah, yeah, all that stuff. I've got, I've got new uh, brake shoes and the hardware for that stuff. Yeah, welded the pan, the floor pans. I got the nice AMD pans. They're a sweet, sweet piece. They go all the way from the firewall pinch right yep. here. Yep. And they go all the way back to the natural seam. You didn't have to cut them? Yeah. No, no. These, these ones. I did cut this one just yeah, for the heck of it because that was nice enough. Oh, like I got this you. One yeah. I didn't cut. It does goes right to the factory seam of the. They call this the, uh, the rear floor well pan. Yeah. Right. The foot well. Yeah, the foot well. So you get two foot wells. You got two. Car. You bought two. I foot bought well. two foot wells. Right. They butt into the rear frame rails at this arch. Yep. Okay. Yep. And then they go to this pan, which they call the under the seat pan. Is that what they really call it? Yeah. That's a that's an under the seat pan. That that gets you the first half up your frame rail. Right, that uh, brings you to a factory seam that goes to what's called your trunk pan, obviously, right? Uh-huh. So the under the seat pan is connected to the trunk pan at the seam. And this trunk pan here goes all the way. Yeah, this is a two-piece. This is like an old... Uh, old Retro fit. Yeah, it's like an old uh, replacement panel. Now they make one piece, obviously, but they're hard to get in the car. Yeah. And then this is your shock. Which uh, you could have done that since you had things so ripped apart. This is your shock cross member. Which I bought. This is a used piece out of a four-door satellite, I think. Right? And these are funny because you would think that they get like spot welded to the trunk pan and then they get spot welded to here. They, uh, factory is one spot weld there, one spot weld there, <coughs> there and there. <coughs> and then... You know how many guys put air shocks on And then up top too. Carried the whole car on that? Just on this top lip. And then they don't get any support here. There's no welding not hooked point there. there at all. Yeah, I know, air shocks. Yeah, so you throw air shocks <laughs> on those coil shocks, you know? Then you jack the car up like Thunderbolt and Lightfoot. Yeah, and you're putting a lot of weight on a little piece of tin. It's really not good. Chargers are cool. They're a little different, they're racier, so they got this roll pan piece where you're, if you're looking at a Cornet or a, or a satellite, you know, it's... Uh, this is all behind the bumper. Right. Where this is exposed on a charger and they yeah. made a really uh, pencil thin bumper and they put it up higher. Yeah. yeah. Well, they fuel under the, the fuel caps under the license, license plate. plate on those. On those cars too. Up on the rear quarter. Yeah, so charger's got its own fuel tank and technically it's got its own, uh, you gotta know where to cut out for the, uh, the fill neck too. Through your trunk floor. We'll hold. figure that out. Yeah. <clears throat> what does hold the tank, tank under here? Um, There's these two straps here. Yes. That. That's where your straps go in. That's one a, there, one there. Are factory locations. There. And then yeah. on this end. And then they're supposed to go up to that, I believe. Might need to get hardware for that. Yeah. There's something missing. I thought they strapped. They might strap into a. There might be a welded bracket to the trunk. That's something I need to investigate. Yeah. That this probably did not come with. Yes. That this cheap pan wouldn't. <laughs> You would have had to take it off of your original pan. It's probably, that's something I gotta look into. But, and I could probably make that easy enough. That's not a big deal. Just gotta figure out what it is. Yeah. I'd rather throw a keg in the trunk. 
<laughs> well, I've got the tank. I got I got a reman tank and stuff like that. I bought super stock springs for it. Right. Ooh, that's manly. Yeah. And then these are the these are the shackles for that. They're heavier. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You got tires. You got wheels. Yep. Yeah, that's the big thing about Mopar is they put such a short, short section of spring in front of the axle. It's almost like natural traction bars. Yeah. It doesn't it's, doesn't allow them to coil wrap or well, bind. That's the big thing with the super leaf stock. wrapping, huh? That's the big thing with the super stock is they uh, a B body uses a longer leaf spring. A super stock spring is actually an A body spring, so like your darts and your dusters. Uh huh. So that's what it's based on. That's why I need such a long shackle because it takes up a I think two inch difference. Oh okay. Between if I put B body springs on this, you would have a shorter shackle. I have a shorter shackle, yeah. Plus. Oh okay, I didn't. Yeah, because I was thinking the duster, like yeah. a duster has them, but this doesn't. These springs these didn't come naturally right with into that. Into a duster, yeah. or a dart, because they're an A body spring. Uh huh. But they use those because they have such a short. Uh, front or half, front half of the spring that it makes it really rigid. So on these are a super stock spring. They are same spring. Yeah, these are a super stock spring. Yeah, it's the same as a regular stock duster spring. Not stock. No, they developed the super stock from the A body spring. Now I get it. Yeah, but they made them really way beefy because they were trying to, you know, they had Hemi powered duster and stuff like that. Hemi powered duster. Yeah, for drag racing. Oh my gosh, that'd be a ride. All right, Kyle, let's get back to work. Back to welding. Well, I kind of get back to work on that. I hope you guys like that video. Go ahead and like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.